Hello everyone, this is Judith from the Waterfront Neighborhood Center coming to you in I think week six, seven or eight of our lockdown. Time's beginning to kind of lose its meaning and we've all been home too long. We've all eaten too much. We have all watched too much TV, too much Netflix and we're all probably putting on weight around the midriff. Now for those of you who've been finding it difficult to exercise, because you find it difficult to commit to a single 45 minute or hour long session and you don't or you don't quite know what to do how to go about it i have good news you actually can break up a single hour long session of workout into smaller modules and do them during the day as time and opportunity permit and still get the benefit of that exercise session so think modules think cardiovascular, think weights, think abdominal exercises, think stretching, and think like little 10 to 12 minute segments. So for instance, cardiovascular exercise is quite easy to get because on nice days you can go out for a walk or a run or a bike ride or on not nice days or if you cannot go out because you're one of the people who's supposed to stay in. You can do a small cardiovascular workout by simply putting on your favorite music, cranking up the volume and dancing for 10, 12, 15 minutes. You want to get work up a bit of a sweat and get your cardiovascular system cranked up. Now for abdominal workouts, you need just to put on a towel. You need to put on a towel or a mat or a blanket and do some crunches. Do some planks, planks, side planks, get on all fours, do the arm and leg extensions where you extend opposite arm, opposite leg and hold, opposite arm again, opposite leg and hold for your, for your um, glutes. You can do kickbacks, you can do side lifts of the legs and while you're on your mat you can also throw in a few minutes of stretching which is easy enough. For upper body and lower body workout, this is this is my favorite. You go into the kitchen for for a snack because I don't know about you, but one is bored. One goes into the kitchen for a snack several times a day. So instead of having that snack or before you have that snack, go to your kitchen counter, lay your hands on the edge of it, and do thirty to forty push-ups, and then use the kitchen counter like a bar, a bar, B-A-R-R-E, not a B-A-R, to, for support to do leg lift, leg lifts to the side, leg lifts to the back, do, um, do plies, do squats, do lunges, and, and keep going. So don't just do one set, keep doing it like a circuit, one after the other, until your arms and legs get tired. And then after that, if you still have, feel like having your snack, go ahead and have your snack, but you'd probably be better off having just a glass of water. So one more thing left is your upper arms, sorry, your upper body, your arms, your, your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders. And for that, you're going to use some cans. These are 19 ounce cans, which are just only slightly bigger, slightly more than a pound. Your 28 ounce cans, which are a little bit too big to hold, are almost two pounds. So these are fairly lightweight. And what you would do is you would tuck your elbows in and you would do bicep curls or you can do military presses, or you can do shoulder lifts, or you can do tricep, triceps extensions. Now, keeping in mind that these are very small weights, and the smaller the weight, the more reps you want to do. So again, you want to do enough reps to get yourself, get your muscles tired. So doing these exercises during the day, doing several sessions of them, you can actually get the benefits of a full workout. And we all know that the benefits of a full workout are more energy, better mood. And if we all do this, we'll be ready to come back to our exercise classes when the lockdown ends, for which I cannot wait. And so take care of yourself, be well, and I hope to see you soon.